Hello, it's Aga from Marvis Artist. Today I'd love to talk about the Slate Material Editor. As many of you have troubles with shifting from Compact Material Editor to the Slate Material Editor, I decided to help you with this. First, I would like to know which Material Editor do you use? Compact or Slate? And why? Let me know in the comments so we all know how the situation looks now. Anyway, whatever material editor you use now, you definitely can learn something new today. So let's begin. So first of all, we need to open the material editor. Use the M key on the keyboard. Now if you go to the mode tab, you can choose in between two types, compact and slate material editor. I definitely don't recommend using the compact editor, so if you use it, you can change it here to the slate material editor and repeat everything after me so you can test it by yourself. Here we go. Let me start with an overview of the main panels of the editor. On the left hand side, we have the material map browser. So here we have all types of possible materials and maps listed. Then we have a view panel where we will create materials. Next is Navigator. As the name says, we can navigate where our materials are. And lastly, we have a Material Parameter Editor, so here we make changes in materials and maps. We can add extra views. It can be helpful if we work on complex projects and we want to have different materials grouped. If we don't need a specific view, we can delete it. We just need to remember that if there is a material created but not applied to any object and we delete the view, we'll not have this material in the scene anymore. So if we are sure and we still want to delete the view, we need to click OK. You can also rename view if you wish. Now let me show you the material map browser. Ok, so here we have everything that you need to create materials. We have the material tab with different categories. Maps with different categories as well. Controllers. Scene materials panel, which I will show you later. And at the end, sample slots. So basically, you can drag and drop the material to the view panel and you can use it or add it to your needs. If you want to delete the material from the view panel, just select it and use the delete key on the keyboard. Ok, now let me show you how to use this panel. So we can start from materials and I will choose corona for instance and corona material. Just drag and drop it into the view panel. To edit the material, double click on it and you will get different parameters in the material parameters editor. Here you can change the settings exactly as it's in the compact version. It will automatically be changed on the preview as well. So we can change basic options, more advanced ones, as well as make changes in the maps panel. Everything that we can change in the material will be here. Ok, now if you want to make the materials more compact, you can click on this minus here so it will leave only the maps that are used. In my case, none. And plus, if you want to go back. If you double click on the preview, it will become larger. Ok, if you right click on the material, you will see different options. For instance, you can rename the material, you can open a preview window, you can update the preview manually or use auto update option which is by default on. You can change previews for cylinder for instance or for the box. However, I prefer a sphere preview anyway. You can show background, which is handy when you want to see for instance how reflection works. Ok, now let me show you how to move around the view panel. By holding the mouse scroll wheel, you can pan the view, while by moving the scroll wheel forward and backwards, you can zoom in and out the view. Now if you want to make more complex material and use some maps, you can click on the dot Hold until you see the line and release the mouse button. So you will have different options. I can choose Corona bitmap for instance and select the map from the drive. I click cancel here for now. We can click on the dot and move the mouse away and then release the button to delete the diffuse map in my case from the material. And I can choose something different. Let's say the checker map this time. 
To delete the map, select it and use the delete key. If the map has the option to use another map, we can add it the same way as before. If you want to edit the map, double click and in the material parameter editor, you will see the maps options. It works the same with all maps and materials. There is another way of adding maps or materials to the view panel. Let me show you. So we can simply drag and drop a map or material into the view panel. We can connect the checker map to the color correction map by connecting the dots. Remember to hold the left mouse button all the time and release it when it's on the dot you want to connect it. The same way here. So basically, you see what you're doing step by step. If you want to move one element, select it and move by holding the left mouse button. You can also select a few and move them the same way. Or the whole material. If you want to copy elements, you need to select them and move it while holding the shift. Let me show you one more time. So you select what you want to copy and move it with holding shift. Let me copy the material as well, so I will create slightly different variations to show you other options. Maybe let's connect it to the diffuse slot. Let me quickly create a box. And let's maximize the material editor one more time. Now, if you have the object selected, by using this option, you will assign the material to this object. Now, let me quickly delete this material for a sec. Now, if you select the material and click Pick Material from the object, you will get the material in the view panel. We can also drag and drop the material from this panel. So basically, in these panels, you can find the materials from your scene. Double click on the material. Actually, maybe let's change the color in the checker map to see the changes more clearly. I changed this color to violet. Now, I will show you another method of applying materials. You just need to click on the dot and hold your left mouse button and release on the object you want to apply the material on. You can see that we cannot see this material on the object, so we can click on this icon to see the texture in the preview. Instead of using the delete key, we can also click here to delete selected maps or materials. By using Ctrl plus Z shortcut, I can undo this action. This option is pretty handy. Now it's on, so it means that I don't have to select all maps related to the material. Whatever I select, it will move the whole material structure. If I turn this off, I will move only selected elements. If you use this option, the material will leave only the slots that are currently used in the material. It can be useful from time to time. Okay, this option we've already used. Let's go to the next one. This will show you the background in the material preview, the same as we have done before. Here, we can choose the material ID we want. If you don't know what you can use the material ID for, Watch my video about render elements. I put the link in a corner. If we click here, all materials will be laid out vertically. Now, if you click on this icon, all children, so all maps related to the material will be organized. Cool, right? The last two ones are pretty straightforward. You can turn on or off specific panels. Now let me show you how to use Navigator. So basically, the red rectangle shows you your actual view panel, so you can easily navigate if you have lots of materials. I don't use it too often, so I make this panel smaller. The true beauty of the Slate Material Editor is how easy it is to understand the material structures, and also a more user-friendly interface makes the workflow much faster. 
So if you are a 3ds Max user, I highly recommend to choose this one. Also, let me know in the comments if you would be interested in the video where I show you the tricks how to make the workflow with Slate Material Editor even faster. Thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe, and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video.